Hi, so we are going to discuss uh, something that is actually very important that's called order of operations. In uh, math, when we have multiple operations in the same expression, we have to follow the certain order. So the first thing that you always do in, when you know, working with order of operations is uh, anything in parentheses or any kind of grouping symbol. Sometimes you may see brackets or some other symbols that are uh, grouping numbers together. The second thing that we do is exponents, always. Then we do multiplication and division. They are done at the same time. You do it left to right. There is uh, some misconception that some students have that because on the list multiplication is first and you have to do multiplication before division, that is actually not true. You follow if there, um, you know, if you see multiplication division, you can do them left to right at the same time. Okay, and then also addition and subtraction. Uh, same thing goes with addition and subtraction, you can do them at the same time as long as you do it left to right. This is known as PEMDAS also, uh, which stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. There are some mnemonics that can help you remember that, but we're not getting into these details. So our example one is three minus five plus four. So the only two upper, well, first of all, let's see. We have no parentheses, no exponents, and no multiplication or division, so we're just limited to addition subtraction. You can do it at the same time, left to right, which means we are going to do this first, and then we're going to do this, well, whatever we're going to get here, this is going to be our second operation. So 3 minus 5 is negative 2, plus 4 and then that's going to give us two. This is going to be our final answer. Um, I've seen this before many times when students look at this and they think, oh, look at this, I got a plus sign, I got to do this first. They do five plus four and then you, they do three minus that result. This is not going to be correct. Remember, these, there is no way for you to get two different answers for problems like that. Math is very strict in things like this and you will only get one result. You cannot get multiple results. All right, let's take a look at the next problem. Very similar situation. We have only addition and subtraction. So we have negative one plus four. Uh, we're gonna do this first and then we're gonna do this operation here second. Okay, so negative one plus four is three and three minus six is going to give us negative three. We box the sensor too. Okay, so it's pretty easy so far. Let's take a look at more examples. All right, so this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. Uh, example three says four plus three multiplied by five. So multiplication is going to be done before addition. So in this problem, we're going to do this first, and we're going to do this second meaning 4 plus 3 times 5 is 15 and then 4 plus 15 is going to give us 19 okay so even though if you looking at this the first operation that you see here is plus you must do multiplication first let's take a look at this 6 divided by 2 plus 1 so that will be our first operation here this will be our second operation here because you got to do division before you do addition 6 divided by 2 is 3 and it gives us whole answer is going to be 4 okay this is and I don't know if you follow any of these things sometimes you see them on social media P people like oh you know what's the answer here and then they give you like some problem with sets of operations, especially um, very similar to this. So, 12 divided by 3 times 2. There's only one correct answer here. All you have here is division multiplication. You can do it at the same time and you're going to have to do it left to right. Left to right meaning we're going to go like this. 
So we are going to do this division first and then we're going to do multiplication after that. So 12 divided by 3 gives you 4. Multiply by 2. 4 multiplied by 2 is 8. Okay, example 6. So we have 100 divided by 2 times 2 plus 4. So now we're getting more complex expressions. So you see this part here without before we get to the plus. So this needs to be done first. You are going to divide first, then multiply. You're going to get a result and then you're going to add 4. So this is our first operation. That's our second operation. This is our third operation. So 100 divided by 2 is 50. 50 times 2 gives us back 100 and the whole thing is going to be 104 okay now we're going to see parentheses so remember if you see parentheses or any kind of grouping symbol sometimes it looks like brackets or anything like that you always do this first so even though we have multiplication here, that seems like this should be the first thing to do. We have to add these two numbers first. That means 4 plus 3, so this will be first, this will be second. 4 plus 3 gives us 7 times 5, and that's going to give us 35. So here, even though if you look at the order, you have division first, have parentheses, you must do parentheses first. It's our first step. It will be our second step. So 6 divided by 2 plus 1 gives us 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So what happens when you have more than one operation inside parentheses? Then you have to follow the order of operations in it. So when you look at example 9, you have 12 minus parentheses, 3 times 2 minus 7, close parentheses. And these two operations that we have here, multiplication and subtraction, you have to do this first, you have to do this second, and then you have to do this third. So you're going to get 12 minus, 3 times 2 is 6 minus 7 so we still have parentheses we still have to finish that and that's going to be our main uh, first thing to do now so 12 minus 6 minus 7 is negative 1 12 minus negative 1 is 13 okay, example 10 f 30 divided by 2 minus 2 times 3 so let's see, we have parentheses, we have to do this first, two operations here, so we'll do this first, we'll do this second because division has to be done before subtraction, and then what's whatever's outside parentheses, we're going to do this next, I mean last. So 30 divided by 2 gives us 15, minus 2 times 3, 15 minus 2 is 13 times 3 and it's going to give us 39 right, let's move on okay I haven't seen exponents yet so here they are and uh, this needs to be done um, after you do parentheses so if you have no parentheses and exponents is your number one operation. So what we have here it's 27 minus 5 squared. Minus 5 squared. Sometimes there's a confusion about whether it's a minus or a negative. If you see a single sign between numbers that's a minus. So this is how we're going to treat it. 5 squared is 25. That means 27 minus 25 and the answer here is 2. Again, I can't stress enough, 
two, pe two different people working on the same problem like that will have to get the same answer. So there's no variations of answers here. Alright, uh, example 12. So what we have here, we have parentheses, we have exponents, and we have um, subtraction. So uh, parentheses is always going to be the first thing. That means we're going to do this first. We're going to do this exponent second, and then we're going to do this third. So 4 plus 1, that's 5 cubed minus 14. 5 cubed is 125 minus 14. That's going to give us 111. Okay. Let's take a look at example 13. I have 12 divided by 3 minus 2 squared. So 2 squared will have to be done first. Division has to be done second. And this will have to be done third. Okay. So 12 divided by 3 minus 2 squared, that's 4. 12 divided by 3 is 4 minus 4. And the answer here is 0. All right, now we're going to take a look at something that's uh, the most complex we have seen so far. Because you have multiple operations in example 14. You also have um, brackets. Now, I do want to clarify one thing. Brackets and parentheses, that really does not mean anything different. Um, they mean the same thing. They group numbers together. Uh, sometimes in some books you see just parentheses. Uh, the reason a lot of um, textbooks use brackets and parentheses together just so that it's easier to see what goes with what. But let's very carefully break these down so that we go in the correct order. So you look in here, right? So when you have brackets like this, they group a bunch of operations together inside of that you have parentheses so inside of brackets we are going to follow the order of operations as we always do so we focus on this expression here inside the brackets here we have a set of parentheses which means that's the first thing we are going to do then we have two more operations we have division and addition division will have to be done before addition so that's going to be our second step then we're going to do this here. Okay, and let me do this first and then I'll uh, get to the rest of it. Remember, any kind of parentheses with uh, multiple operations or what they call nested parentheses, you have to do what's inside uh, first and you have to do it in that correct order. So I'm going to keep my bracket. So I'm going to do 15 minus 3 first. That is 12. Okay, so 12 divided by 4 is 3. Three plus 8 is 11. Okay, now that we've completed everything inside the brackets, we have no more parentheses left. Let's take a look at this. Uh, we saw a similar example. We're going to have to do multiplication first. And then we're going to have to do subtraction. So it's going to be 11 minus 14, which is negative 3. Okay. Be very careful. My suggestions, if you're not very um, fluent with this, uh, you need to go very slowly first until you develop that fluency. Okay. It's kind of like everything else. And you don't know a language and you're learning it, you are going to speak very slowly at first. Alright, move on.
Okay, so you also have problems that are like that when you have some sort of a fraction. So I want to remind you, fraction, uh, when you see a fraction, that's an operation of division. But also I want to point out with problems like that, what you need to do first always is you're pretty much going to do, well, you, you, you're pretty much going to treat uh, the numerator and the denominator as if it was a set of parentheses and just handle them together and then after that you are going to be able to um, deal with the division. So this division here, this fraction bar, is the very last thing you are going to do. So if we look at the numerator here, we have six, we have uh, exponents and we have multiplication and we have subtraction. That is actually what order you have to follow here. Okay. So this is our first step, second step, and then third step. 6 squared is 36, minus 3 times 7, okay, uh, over 4 plus negative 1 squared. So 36 minus 3 times 7 is 21, divided by 4 plus negative 1 squared. And 36 minus 21 is 15. So now we can switch our attention to the denominator. So in the denominator here we have an exponent and we have a plus. So an exponent will be first thing, addition will be then afterwards. So that's 4 plus, if it's negative 1 squared, that's negative 1 times negative 1, that's 1. Now we can add 15 divided by 5, and the answer is going to be 3. I do want to warn you about one thing. Sometimes you uh, do your problems and you think that uh, for problems like that, uh, when you get a fraction at the end, you have to get a whole answer. That's not necessarily the case. Sometimes you have to, you may not get um, that you know, whole answer could give you a fraction that does not simplify and that may be perfectly fine. Okay, I would double check your work but you don't have to, to get a whole result. Uh, also one other thing that I want to sh tell you about these problems. The numerator here and the denominator they are really independent of each other up until the point when you got to this place here and we need to divide them. So while you do the work in the numerator, you can also start doing the work in the denominator at the same time if you want to save time. Okay, it'll help you speed it up because they are independent up until this point. So it's one of those things that you can do that will help you go through problems like this faster. What I mean here is as we were working on the numerator when we got to this point, we could have also started doing the denominator by taking care of that square. But there's nothing wrong if you do one thing first and you switch and do the other thing. And let's take a look at this last example here. So we got negative 2 cubed minus 3 times 9 divided by 1 minus 2 cubed. So let's carefully break these down. This is quite a few. Let's start with the numerator. So we have exponents, that's automatically number uh, our first step, and then multiplication is our second step, addition is going to be our third step. Okay, so let's do that. So negative 2 cubed, it's negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, that will give you negative 8. Minus 3 times 9 over 1 minus 2 cubed. Okay, so negative 8 minus 3 times 9, that's 27, divided by 1 minus 2 cubed. Okay, so now we can work with the denominator. Uh, you do need to be very careful here. Um, there is no parentheses that include the negative, so this is all we're doing together. This is actually 2 cubed, so 2 cubed is 8. And let me finish the numerator too. So negative 8 minus 27 is negative 35 over, this is going to be 1 minus 8. So 
So it's negative 35 divided by negative 7, which is going to be positive 5. Okay, and this is how it works. And I hope this is helpful.